we have our very, very basic HTML page set up, just a very, very basic structure for the HTML document. Next, what we want to do is we want to go and set up our external style sheet. Now, the cool thing about responsive design and exactly how all of this is going to function is we're going to have a single external style sheet. And that single external style sheet is going to contain formatting for the three devices that we're going to be targeting, of course, mobile, tablet, and desktop. Now, in years gone by, what we could have done is we could have had an external style sheet for each device. So one external style sheet for mobile, one external style sheet for tablet, and then a third for desktop. But of course, that means extra files to manage. So things are super awesome now with this responsive design or media queries specifically in CSS3. Now, if you've never done this sort of work before, first of all, it's really, really straightforward stuff. We're going to have an external style sheet, which is going to contain the rules, the formatting that is going to control the look and feel of our raw HTML document. So sometimes how I explain this is CSS is the dress up and HTML is the raw structure. But I'm assuming that you already have dipped your toe into the world of CSS and into the world of web design already. So what I'm going to do here inside my coding application, once again, of course, Coda for myself or wherever you happen to find yourself, we want to go and create a brand new blank document. So oftentimes you can just head to the file menu and choose new, or oftentimes you can literally just hit control or command N on your keyboard to create a brand new document. So that's what I've done here, control or command N yourself, you can head to the file menu and create a new document. Or again, I'm not 100% sure exactly where you are, what application you are using, but you want to go and create a new document. Now, all I'm going to do with this guy at this stage of the game, there's nothing inside this document, right? He's completely empty. He's completely blank. He will be filled with all of the styling, all the rules that's going to control the look and feel of our site as time goes by, as we start building this up. But at this stage of the game, all I want to do is save this guy out. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll get this guy connected to the HTML file. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go and save this guy. File and then down to save as. So this is a super easy exercise here. I'm going to save this guy into the project files folder, which of course I have sitting on the desktop. And the name that I'm going to give this guy, this is not going to be an HTML file. It's going to be a .css file. So I'm simply going to call this guy styles.css. Now, you can call yours whatever you want. You can call it myrules.css or responsivedesign.css or whatever you like. Style.css. I always use the plural styles.css. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this guy. That's it. And you may get prompted to confirm that you want to use the .css file extension. I do here inside Coda. So I'm going to say, yeah, use .css. Perfect. That's it. We're done. So now this document here, I can see across the top here, styles.css. So for a lot of our time here together, we're going to be flipping back and forth between the HTML file and the external style sheet. And once again, the external style sheet is going to be driving the formatting of the HTML file. Okay, so it does get a little bit more complicated because we're going to be working with multiple files. So we are all set up. We have the building blocks in place. Now what we want to do is we want to connect the HTML file to the external CSS file.